Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and finally, the time has come. I am incredibly excited to announce that I will be on LEGO Masters Season 4, airing this fall. I basically disappeared. I could not tell anybody where I was. I said I was on a work trip, and only a very, very small group of people knew that I was actually away filming LEGO Masters Season 4, and this has been the experience of a lifetime. But as you know, you can't do LEGO Masters by yourself. And so, I want to officially introduce my partner in crime, Robert here, who was able to join me for LEGO Masters. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing good. And hello, everyone. So I first met Robert back in college when we co-founded a startup together, and we've kind of been through thick and thin together, but so, we decided to do LEGO Masters. Now, how exactly did we come to this idea to be on the show together? Honestly, it came as a huge surprise for me. Um, I've always known Chris, of course, as the founder of Duck Bricks. Um, with his founder, massive, yes. With his <laughs> massive Lego collection, yeah. Um, but, you know, we've worked on so many different projects in the past together. You know, when we just started college, we met, and one of the first things we did was say that we wanted to co-found a startup together. We ended up co-founding something called Pillbot, like a health tech startup. Um, it did pretty well. And I guess it, it was just off the races from there. It's been a wild ride. We've been to a lot of trips around the world. You know, I come to Seattle every so often and just kind of hang out at Chris's place. You may have seen me in some of Chris's streams. Um, but, and then Chris one day just reached out to me and said, hey, you want to do Lego Masters? And I was like, of course. So out of all my <laughs> friends, Robert was literally the craziest one of them, which is why I picked him because I was going down the list and I was thinking, Nobody's actually going to say yes, except my boy Rob, because oh, yeah. we can convince this guy to do anything. Look, so. I am always <laughs> up for a challenge and something new, and this was definitely something new. And, you know, I figured that it's my last semester of school. What am I going to do that isn't a reality TV show? Might as yeah, well do it, of right? Of course, of course. And so we went for it. Now beforehand, we had played with LEGO a little bit when we were working on our startup. We kind of used it as a way to de-stress and like when we were brainstorming new ideas for our startup, we would build LEGO sets. And it's actually not nearly to the depth that Chris got into it. No, that's a very high bar to cross. Um, yeah, but then, you know, Chris, I am, I'm a very competitive person. I really like to win. And so when, when Chris mentioned that we had a competitive reality TV show, I was like, yo, I, I got to study up and we're going to win this thing. Essentially what happened is that we found out we were on the show. Robert came over here to Seattle. Yeah. Was that your first time in the Lego collection? I think it was, actually. I've seen Chris's Lego collection a lot, but I think that first time when I flew over to prep was really the first time that I saw it in real life, in person. I was like, holy crap, this is a lot. <laughs> so what we did is we put Robert through a rigorous training program where I gave him only the hardest exercises that he needed to complete. Yeah. Definitely not just broken sets off my backlog oh, yeah. that I didn't want to repair myself. I helped myself. you so much with those sets too. Oh yeah, he really, yeah, he I could. really helped you. What happened is that I had some sets that I had built in college, but when I came back after graduation, they were all broken up from the airplane flight. I don't really want to rebuild sets twice, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it to him. All the pieces are in individual bags, so it should be fine. But what our boy here does is uh, dump open all the bags into one giant pile. Ah, so yes. I come back home and I'm like, what are you doing? And no progress has been made. This was his first Lego set build for years, but we got better after that. I think oh, I would got, say that. We got so much better. <laughs> So what's next? Well, by the time this video comes out, they probably, hopefully, fingers crossed, will have announced when the show will actually be airing. So if they have, you can see that on screen right now, we don't actually know ourselves yet, other than fall. I think fall is the ideal time frame. We'll find out. But essentially, as the show is airing, we have a ton of special videos we want to put out for those who are following along with the US LEGO Masters. A lot of fun ideas, such as a podcast every single week. Absolutely. Definitely tune into that. Definitely tune in to find out how far we make it. And essentially, we're planning on making content every week, following along with the episodes and chatting with our fellow contestants. So stay tuned because so much more fun stuff is on the way. And this has been one crazy, crazy ride. It's been a crazy ride. And so stay tuned in. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this fall, tune in to see myself and Robert compete in LEGO Masters Season 4. It's time to get your brick on.